Good morning. Not really sure where to start this video from. Um, so I'm here with some cats and a squirrel. <laughs> I am at the last day of my stay at the Hippocrates Institute. I came here to support my dad and to learn more for myself. Uh, there is an outdoor exercise area over here. It's worth a look. They're always playing rock music. Let's give you a view. So, another way to be outside with the elements. The rock music. Ah. So, the Hippocrates Institute is a place of health and healing where people come and they retreat for usually three weeks and that's called the Life Transformation Program. Uh, my dad and I are just here for one week. It's a nice taste of what's going on here and I feel like it's so short. <laughs> I would have loved to stay longer. Uh, there's been some really wonderful people here. I've enjoyed getting to know them. They've all been very kind. And many of them have some phenomenal stories of overcoming, let's see, liver cancer, gastrointestinal issues, avoiding surgeries. Um, people who have decided that they want a different way beyond drugs and surgery and this is one place for that. I have been studying health since I was a little girl and if you don't already know there's a million paths to health so even within the natural healing world no one agrees. Ah, the lights are off but this is called the hut and it's where a lot of the lectures happen right inside there. If I could find a light switch I'd show it to you. Okay I found some lights. So, right down there is where the lecturers speak, and there's all kinds of beautiful bodies of water around here, so I am not excellent with the camera as of yet, but there's uh, what they call the core lectures, um, which are just key concepts that are taught around here, and they're shared by co-founders Anna, Maria, and Brian Clement and they've been really down-to-earth accessible people who I am grateful to have met here. They... okay let me pause. The wheatgrass hut behind me is pretty busy this morning. Wheatgrass juice is a key part of the program which was designed by Ann Wigmore. It's a lot of people all around. This is the Hacienda. There's more lectures that happen in that room. Some guests that stay here. I'll take us on a quick walk to the spa. Uh, the campus is many acres. It's at least over 50 acres. I want to look up the exact number to get it to you, but uh, this particular area is condensed where the pools, the salon, the store, the cottages, the lecture areas are found. Um, so it's, it's a really beautiful setting. Okay, up ahead is called Oasis, which is the spa where they offer a lot of the bodywork treatments. Um, and then behind the spa, there are some yurts. So there's the spa. Uh, pools on the other side. Let me take you to the pool while we're here. Okay, I imagine there will be some people here. Unless it's super quiet. There's the store behind me, which isn't open till later. Ah, the pool is closed, but you'll get a good look. There we go. It's not as beautiful through the gate, but I'm telling you, the pools are really incredible and there's some more saunas back there. And they're all salt water. Mineral pools. Oh, no chlorine. It's my dream. 
one day perhaps all pools will be that way. Okay, off to the yurts, passing by a waste spa again. Okay, spa. It rained last night, so it's especially damp today, but the sun is coming out. Oh. I think the pool was closed for cleaning, but otherwise it's been open whenever I wanted it, and usually they're open until 10 or so each evening. People like to congregate there and chat and ah, just be together. So we have a labyrinth walking path back here. A little pond. It's got some lights on it at night. Some of the yurts, there's yurts where therapies occur and then there's yurts where people stay. Um, I experienced a really incredible session of, I'd never had before, Thai yoga massage. Lovely. And it was by um, a man who had been practicing here for 20 some years. Uh, I think that all kinds of noises from the trees. I think that, I'm not sure if this is the official meditation pond, but it is a pond where I walk around and there are just spider webs everywhere. Lots of nice places to sit and rest and contemplate and um, let's take a walk around. Oh. So the Hippocrates, oh, more spider webs. The Hippocrates Institute has been around for more than 70 years. Uh, again, Anne Wigamore was the founder and the Institute started in Boston, Massachusetts and created a protocol for overcoming cancer and the key tenets were, I need to read the book, but according to what I've learned here and from some other people who have used her protocols to overcome cancer, one of the most important tenets is wheatgrass juice daily wheatgrass juicing and several ounces anywhere from two to six ounces that you ingest or you take via your bum if you want to know more about that we can talk about that another time but uh taking it in the form of like an enema it's faster absorption through those tissues and there's also access to the hepatic portal vein so going through the colon and into that vein gives you access to the liver and stimulates the liver to do all these great cleansing abilities. I do like this path. I'll sit on a bench up here. Don't think we'll bother anyone. And uh, in raw foods, specifically sprouts, those enzymes help with a lot of metabolic functions, breaking down breaking down things that aren't supposed to be there and helping improve digestive abilities and oh, so wheatgrass and raw foods, specifically sprouts. It's a big part of the program. Uh, no animal products are included since there are many ways to health. Um, veganism is one way. And other important things to share. What I loved here about a lot of the lectures that I've heard is that the focus is really on the whole picture of health. So even beyond food. And I love that I've heard from people, especially the psychotherapist here. So they have a psychotherapist, people who stay, well, they have several, they have two. And they offer like healing group circles where people can come and share together and give each other feedback. And I went to one of those. It was intense, but it seemed also helpful, the feedback that people received was useful to them in making concrete changes in their life and how they conducted themselves and their thoughts and mm, yeah really useful so health is not simply food and people who understand that make better long-term progress and when they see it as how i eat how i am who i am who i'm with um this is a place that's meant to be supportive of nourishing your whole being and getting you to reflect on how you can carry those practices into your life at home 
and as much as I value food and avoiding toxin chemicals, toxic chemicals in the environment, helping people understand that health is really a state of mind and a state of being and the energy that you bring to what you do, those practices of nourishing yourself, generally speaking, is the most powerful medicine that you can give yourself. I'm trying to think about where else I can take you. Um, I've taken some photos, a photo tour entrance, as you drive in and you'll just slide through the pictures and see, you know, oh, if you were driving or walking, this is the entrance to the Institute. So the original Institute was in Boston, but then Anna Maria was living in, don't remember which European country, uh, and she'd heard of Anne Wigamore and it was her goal to come and learn from Anne Wigamore and then to go back to Europe and to continue working at a health clinic there and to share the philosophies and teachings of Anne. Well, when she came here, she met Brian and they ended up becoming a couple and she stayed here and then she and Brian eventually from the Boston Clinic Institute, whatever they were calling it at the time, came to Florida, purchased a small amount of land here, which has grown and grown and grown. And that's how this place came to be. And Wigamore was meant to come join them, but she actually later on in her life started a center in um, Puerto Rico, which is still there. Although I do hear from people who have been both here and there that there are some differences in uh, I don't know, this place I'm told has more of a spa feel, whereas the Puerto Rican Institute, I don't know the exact name, um, is more just all about the practices. Uh, so different vibes. Okay, other things that are important to share from here. The schedule. I don't have my schedule in front of me, but from my memory, every day has been filled. There are exercise classes in the morning, qigong, yoga, rebounding, walking club, stretching. Um, the teachers have been phenomenal, really love them. And okay, then there's, there's a breakfast offering, although intermittent fasting is encouraged. Uh, you will not find fruit here. Fruit is offered twice a week and dessert, which is usually frozen bananas. It's once a day on Saturday night, so, or is it Sunday? In any case, it's Saturday, because when we showed up on Sunday, we didn't get it, so I just think that's funny. <laughs> it's like something to look forward to. Uh, yeah, they really focus on greens, the greens, and just chewing. The more you can chew, the more saliva enzymes you produce to digest your food, so. <laughs> so I miss the fruit and I miss the dessert. Uh which is fine. It's really been quite, quite fine. I've been enjoying the people more. Um, but the food has been amazing. I didn't, I didn't take a picture of the salad bar. I'll do that this afternoon. I'll get a short video. The buffet is like one of the crown jewels here. And uh, didn't show you the greenhouse, but the greenhouse is where all the sprouts and wheatgrass are grown. And it's a pretty incredible uh, machine going on there. The way that the the grower does it. It's got it down to a science, which he has to for the amount that he produces. Okay, so in the morning there's uh, exercise classes offered, optional breakfast, uh, and then lectures throughout the day. And then you have appointments where you receive treatments of various kinds. And then, you know, meeting people, enjoying the land, just reflecting with yourself and healing. That's what you do. Lunch, dinner in the evening, evening activities. Uh, again, more lectures or presentations. Oftentimes there's been outside vendors that come in and have spoken about IV injection therapies and chiropractic work and thermography. Uh, there might be a documentary or a video screening shown. So it's been really lovely. I'm so grateful to have been here and I just wanted to take the chance to capture being here in the moment. Um, I would love to sit down and have a audio podcast and share more details. If you'd like that, let me know. Uh, I'd love to come back. Don't know if that will happen, but um, my goal is to 
find other places like this all, all, all around the world and visit them. I could say health, but health is more broad for me. Health is like places where people can fully express themselves and be. It could be creative art endeavor. It could be a healing art endeavor. Uh, but yeah, communities and spaces of people who are doing unique and interesting things that are worth capturing and sharing and talking about. And just so that the people who want to know that that perspective is out there is, is here. It's available. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think and what else you'd like to hear about. And I look forward to sharing more with you. Later this afternoon, I'll send you the salad bar.